Published 1934 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018. Updated 2028 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018. The BBC has said it is working to ensure there it has an equal number of male and female experts across its programs by April 2019. The broadcaster said it is seeking to guarantee there is a 50 to 50 split in the expert contributors featured on its news, current affairs and topical programs. The corporation stressed it will continue to interview the relevant minister, official, or organizational representative appropriate to a story because they are the individuals in charge or are accountable, adding this concept is focused on the experts used to comment or report on events. The broadcaster will aim to ensure it has an equal number of male and female experts across its shows by April next year. The gender balance of those contributors will be monitored on a monthly basis. It has already disclosed the BBC has a median gender pay gap of 9.3% and pledged to increase the number of women on screen, on air and in lead roles to 50% in 2020. The challenge to achieve a 50-50 to -50 gender balance has already been adopted by a number of BBC programs. News show Outside Source, which is simulcast on the BBC News Channel and BBC World News, has already achieved a 50-50 to -50 gender split after it adopted the system of self-monitoring in January 2017. By April the program was featuring an even number of men and women. The challenge has already expanded to more than 80 programs including The One Show and BBC News at 6 and 10. The Andrew Marr Show on BBC One and Radio Fuzz File on 4 have seen a rise of more than 10% in expert female contributors and reporters since recording their figures, the broadcaster said. But Tony Hall, the BBC Director General, said, This is a fantastic project that is already driving change. The Andrew Marr Show on BBC One has seen a rise of more than 10% in expert female contributors and reporters since recording of figures began. The results from programs that have taken it up have been remarkable. Adopting it more widely will help transform the range of expert voices across the BBC, Fran Unsworth, Director of News, added. We are starting to see a real transformation across the BBC. But we want to go further and faster. The success already delivered demonstrates the desire and commitment of BBC teams to lead the way on this important issue. That's why the BBC is now setting the challenge of all programs on both radio and TV that use expert contributors to meet a 50 50 split of contributors by April 2019. The BBC will produce report on the progress at that time. We can and are delivering change. The BBC is happy to share its experience of this project with other broadcasters and news organizations who might want to adopt a similar approach. Some programs which already have a focus on gender will not be expected to achieve a 50 to 50 balance because of the very nature of the program's editorial remit. Rose Atkins, presenter of Outside Source, said, When Outside Source started this project the aim was to further improve the quality of our program and bring fresh and engaging expert contributors to our audiences. I'm delighted that other teams across the BBC are just as passionate about this as I am and we've seen fantastic results from those already adopting the monthly monitoring approach so far. The ambition is to reach many more teams with the 50 to 50 challenge and ensure we have a strong network of contacts so we can increase the representation of expert female contributors on